Once upon a mountaintop, three little trees stood and dreamt about what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked at the stars twink twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I want to be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the river flowing on its way to the ocean. I want to be a mighty sailing ship. I want to travel dangerous waters and carry pow powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy people worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave this mountaintop at all. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I want to be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rains came, the sun shone, and the three little trees grew tall. Then one day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain and saw the three tall trees. Beautiful for me. Now I shall be made into beautiful treasure, into a beautiful treasure chest. I shall hold wonderful treasure. This, uh, this tree is strong. It's perfect for me. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now I shall sail mighty waters. I shall be a strong ship fit for kings. The third tree felt his heart sink when the last woodcutter looked his way. He stood straight and tall and pointed bravely skyward towards heaven, but the woodcutter never even looked up. Any tree will do for me. <laughs> the first woodcutter had no intentions of making a treasure chest, but rather a trough to feed the animals. The second tree was taken to a shipyard, where she became a mast for a small fishing boat. The third tree was crafted into beams that the woodcutters stacked and left in a pile. One night, a great star shone into the trough the first tree had been made into. Mary, I wish we had a crib for our baby. This is the perfect place for our child, for one day he will be the king of all men. After the baby was born, wise men from the east brought him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. One evening, years after that, a tired traveler and his twelve friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as a second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon a thundering, thrashing storm arose. The other men in the boat started screaming in fear that they would all perish. Peace! And the storm stopped. Late one Friday morning, the third tree was startled when his beams were yanked from the forgotten wood pile. He flinched as he was carried through an angry and jeering crowd. He couldn't believe it when a soldier nailed a man's hands to him. He felt ugly, harsh, and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun arose and the earth trembled with joy beneath him, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It allowed the first tree to hold great treasure, making the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong, and every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. And that was better than being the tallest tree in the world.